Greetings everybody, it's Emily from Of Pages and Ink, and today I'll be doing my book talk on This Is Where It Ends by Marie Gnidjkamp, but I'm sorry if I butchered the name. Um, if you don't know anything about this book, it is a telling of a high school shooting that happens after an assembly where most of the students are gathered in the auditorium, and this kid shows up and starts shooting people, starting with the principal. Um... The book jumps perspectives. I lost my train of thought for a second. The book jumps perspective between four characters. All of them are connected to the shooter in some way. Um, there's Autumn, Sylvia, Tomas, and Claire. And the shooter is Tyler. So Autumn and Tyler are siblings. Sylvia is Autumn's girlfriend who. Tyler doesn't really like because he feels that she is taking his sister away from him. Um, their mother, Autumn and Tyler's mother died. And after that, their world kind of started to spiral downward, downward. Autumn could no longer dance like she had dreamed of doing because her mother was a dancer. She was getting beat by her father. Um, not a happy story. Um, and Tyler felt like he was losing everybody and everything that he cared about. Then there's Tomas, who is Sylvia's brother, and he and Tyler do not have a good relationship because Tomas is trying to protect Sylvia from Tyler, and, you know, Tyler is just being Tyler. Um, and then the last character is Claire, who is Tyler's ex-girlfriend, and she is actually not in the auditorium when it goes off as well as Tomas. Um, Claire is out at a track practice run, and to, uh, Tomas is with his friend, and they are breaking into the principal's office to look at files. Um, mainly one specific file, but I won't go into that one, because it could be a spoiler. Um, this book is a very long, so this video shouldn't be too long, because there's not a whole lot to talk about it without getting into detail that could potentially be a spoiler-ish. Um, I'm trying to do spoiler-free videos because nobody likes to get a book ruined for them. And I try to, like, warn you guys before I say something that might potentially be a spoiler. I'm like, you know, go away for a while or mute it and I'll wave you in and, you know, all that stuff. Um, but anyway. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. The book was great. It didn't bore me, but it didn't wow me. And I also didn't cry. Part of that might be my fault because I read a lot of books that aren't happy. If you look at my bookshelf, most of these books have happy things in them, but the overall concept is just not a good one. Um, you know, let's 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 see. War. There's there's a civil war kind of thing here. Um, tyrant in a high fantasy kingdom. The Hunger Games. Dystopian world where kids are being hunted and sold because they have magical or powers that the adults do not and do not like because we fear what we don't know or don't understand. Post apocalyptic world about angels bring about the apocalypse. Like, not happy things. Not happy things. So, if I am reading a book about a not happy thing and I expected to cry, I guess it's because I'm so used to not happy things that I didn't. Um, I do recommend the book because you may feel differently about it than I do. If you read a lot of happy books, like romance novels and contemporary novels that are generally happy, um, then maybe you'll cry and enjoy the sadness. That's a little weird to say, but sometimes if you if a book makes you feel something, you enjoy it, even though it may not be a happy feeling. Um, and yeah, so that's about all I got. Four. This is where it ends. And I will see you guys in a little bit because I will be doing another video. This one is a indirect tag video. I was looking for tag videos and I found this one and it's actually a blog post that somebody had turned into a tag um, and tagged the original blog post that kind of inspired it. Um, and I had looked at it before and I was like, I don't know if I want to do it. And then I decided today because I didn't do a top five Wednesday that I would Go ahead and do it, and before I sign off in my new way, if you haven't seen that, um, I wanted to show you guys how awesome this book actually looks. You can't really tell. It actually looks more like a just a tan book, but there's like 
rivets in it. And it's got like a cardboardy board card cardboard feel. Not feel, but like look to it. Which is interesting. Anyway, um, I will see you guys in a couple minutes, like I said. And I will sign off in my new way in a second as soon as I put its clothes back on. Come here. Alright, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I always try my best to share my thoughts with you guys. And I hope that you guys return your thoughts in return. If you have read This Is Where It Ends, let me know what you thought. Did you cry? Um, you know, let me know down below. Um, and I'll see you guys next time that I've said like four times. And I'm very sorry for the repetition. Um, but happy reading.